Quercus rober is the English oak. This is in the white oak group. You'll see um, the rounded lobes on the leaves. Um, the leaves typically are kind of generally oval shaped with these lobes cut in, but much narrower down towards the base. It's a very large tree, easily to 80 feet, um, very broad spreading crown. This is a tree that you would say if you were, you know, giving recommendations for it, allow plenty of room for it to grow. Even though it's, you know, it's a moderate grower, which is one foot or just a little over one foot per year, um, if you have an eventual very large tree. Um, like the other oaks, alternate simple leaf arrangement. Um, the rounded lobes, um, kind of deep green, uh, a little bit whitish or just lighter uh, green on, on the underside. The fall color is kind of a brown, sometimes an orangish brown. Um, there is one very notable cultivar, cultivated variety, called Fastigiata, which is fastigiate, which is a, a columnar or a strictly upright tree. Um, this is planted many times in, in formal landscapes where um, this particular form um, is warranted. And this is a very durable plant. Uh, sometimes under ice storms, these branches open up a little bit, but it really typically holds its, its uh, fastigiate form very well. Uh, again, as we've seen with the other oaks, a cluster of buds at the terminal end, um, the same catkins, the male catkins, uh, with the female flowers on the stem. The acorns that um, mature in one year on the English oak, because it's in the white oak group, have this elongated shape. So many times, you know, we'll see an acorn that's almost round. The English oak acorns are very elongated, so it's a very good identification feature for them. The wood is very uh, stout and durable. It tolerates a lot of different conditions. It's a very, very sturdy, strong oak tree. The bark is, uh, when you take our typical sort of what we think of as red oak bark that's furrowed and dark and white oak bark that's more whitish and scaly. This is kind of a blend of the two. Um, it has the, the furrows, so the ridges and the valleys, but it's a lighter sort of um, more whitish gray color.